We're pushed to a limit we never anticipated having to face. We're often left with more than we bargained for. I consulted to Vermont National Guard for a couple of years, and this was their leadership day in October of 2014. And they asked me to come and have a conversation with them about leadership. Okay? This is just the leaders there, about 700 people. And um, I did the keynote and had a great conversation with them. But the problem for me going into that conversation was that I was engaging 700 leaders who put on uniforms, pick up weapons, and go out to defend the country, something I've never done. So who am I to challenge them about leadership, and more so to challenge them about courage? Who am I? I'll tell you who I am. I'm that edgy brother I introduced you, you to earlier. And I did exactly that because I also went in and I had enough conversations with the women in the Vermont National Guard to understand the, how they weren't even second class citizens, they were third class citizens. So one of my favorite quotes is this, condemning people out of habit is easy. Overcoming deep-seated prejudice takes courage. They've been socialized around hierarchies and maleness to process things in some dysfunctional ways. And my challenge was to take the courage that I know they have and reframe that courage in a different context. Show us your courage outside of what you're accustomed to. What kind of courage do you have to ask yourself some tough questions? Am I, am I doing uh, the right thing here? Am I proud of what I'm doing? These side conversations that I'm having, am I proud of those? What am I really doing here? Am I hurting anyone? How can I be a better person? Those are questions a lot of us don't ask, because we just automatically assume that we're cool, that we get it, that it's okay. It's not. You have to ask yourself those questions.